yes I can If I believe in myself Then there's nothing I can't do Yes I can And if you're willing to try You will find out you can do And if you don't mind If you'd be so kind I would like to be a friend Do you wanna be mine? If you help me along with my plan Yes I can Two, three, four, modulate Yes, I can. And it's easier still when I ask for some advice. Yes, I can. Two ends are better than one when you think about it twice. If we all try together, we will find out a way. Make tomorrow even better than it was yesterday. We'll be learning that sharing is fun. When the day Yes, I can! Yeah. Well, only one more homework problem and I'm done. Let's see, uh, it says... If a choo-choo train has ten cars and four cars go away, and then they add two more cars, how many cars are there on that choo-choo train now? Anyone out there know the answer? <sighs> well, I don't. Maybe my Uncle Kermit can help. Uncle Kermit! You called? Oh, hi, Uncle Kermit. Hi there. I thought maybe you could help me with my homework. Oh, sure. I'd be glad to. Let's take a look here. Uh, yeah. Let's see. It says, if a choo-choo train has ten cars, uh -huh, and then you take away, uh, okay, mm -hmm. and then you add, and then you... Uh, <clears throat> all right, how many cars are there on the choo-choo train now? Mm. Gee, that's a tough one, Robin. Uh -huh, I know. Yeah, but we can figure it out if we put our minds to it. Oh, hey, I've got an idea. Yeah, good. Yeah, you could give me the answer. No, 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 I can't do that. If you want to learn, you have to do it yourself. Aw, oh, gee, what's so important about learning? Well, when you learn things, you get smarter. And when you're smarter, you can do almost anything. Anything? Sure. Well, if you learn enough, you might be an astronaut or, or an artist or a scientist. Or, or the President of the United States? Sure, why not? In fact, when I was a baby back in the nursery, I learned all about being president. You did? Mm hmm You see, one day we were all racing toy boats, and Piggy decided to change the rules right in the middle of the race. Well, what's that got to do with being president? Well, you see, we had to learn about rules. It all happened just like this. Isn't this ocean beautiful? Out of my way, Fozzie! Yacht racing is serious business! <laughs> You're a cheater! I am not! You are too! I'm not hey, too! Hey, hold on! 
What's the matter? We were having a boat race, Nanny, and, and Piggy cheated. Yeah, she changed the rules after I won. Is that true, Piggy? Well, um, yes, but I made the rules, so why can't I change them? Because when you started the game, you made an agreement with the others. And breaking agreements makes people angry. Yeah, yeah that's right. Nanny's right. You said it. I'm sorry. Now, before you play any more games, I want you to agree on the rules and then follow them. Yes, Nanny. That's good. I'm sure you'll have more fun this way. Well, then, it's decided. Uh, what's decided? That I will be the nursery's official rule maker. Huh? Why should you be the rules maker? Because it's in my blood. I'm a born ruler. <laughs> I, Queen Eliza Piggy, do hereby assume total control of my nursery kingdom. Boy, it's been a rough day. I could use a few laughs. Guards, bring in the royal court jester. Yes, yes my, my queen. queen. Royal Court Jester? Me? Oh, boy! Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa! <laughs> Good morning, your royal pigginess. Tell me a joke, Court Jester, and make it funny. No problem. I'm not a great one. What do you call a queen who plays golf? Give up? The queen of clubs. <laughs> Get it? Golf? Clubs? Waka waka. Whoa! That was awful, Jester. You know what I do to lousy comedians? Uh, buy them joke lessons? Uh, I'm not going to get 50 lashes, am I? Nope, it's worse than that. Oh, no! 50 tomatoes! Bring on my royal writer! Oh! Tis I, weirdo Shakespeare, my lady. Let go my nose. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, what have you written for me today, royal writer? I, weirdo Shakespeare, have written one of my greatest works for you, my queen. Uh, ah, here it is. <coughs> weird or not to be weird? That is the question. Uh, uh, ah, ah, weirdio, oh weirdio, wherefore art thou, weirdio? Uh, 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 old black weirdo had a farm, E-I-E-O, brother, where did that come from? <laughs> uh, read any good books lately? Stop! I make the rules, and I don't want you writing any more of your weird plays. Yeah, but, but how will I become the most famous writer in the world, my queen? That's your problem. Guards! Huh? Stop! <laughs> you can't do this to me! You'll hear from my agent! Ahoy and hello, Queen Elizabeth Piggy! I, Sir Kermit Drake, have come to sail around the world for you. Forget about sailing around the world, Sir Kermit. I want you right here, by my side. B but what about the history books? Who cares about books? You and I are going to make our own history. Um, there! Oh, well, I guess being king won't be so bad. Who said anything about being king? I make the rules and I say you're my Prince Charming. Huh? No! Stop! Let me go, Piggy! I don't like your rules! Yay! <sighs> Kermit's right. Why should you be the queen of the nursery? Yeah, how would you like it if I were queen? Huh? There, pick up my clothes, clean my glasses, oil my roller skates. Okay, okay, I get it. Come on, remember what Nanny said? We've got to figure out some way to agree That's on the it. rules. I know, I'll be the ruler of the nursery. But Piggy just proved that one person making the rules won't work. Who said anything about making rules? If I were ruler of the nursery, there wouldn't be any rules. I, Bonzolian, declare myself emperor of the nursery. From this moment forward, I cancel all rules and laws. That's ridiculous. There have to be some laws. You can't cancel the law of gravity. Is that so? Hey! Au revoir! So long! Gosh, 
Gosh, if there are no rules at all, then I can make up the rules of a good joke. Hmm. Aha, I know. Why did the potato go to Paris? Give up to be a French fry. Waka, waka, waka. <laughs> Whoa! Um, French fries? What happened to tomatoes? Whoa! <laughs> yeah! French fries are better with ketchup. Gee, Fozzie, I guess rules or no rules, a bad joke is a bad joke. Hmm. I wonder what it's like to play piano with no musical rules. Huh? <laughs> Pardon me, Gonzolian, but why do you keep your hand in your shirt? Oh, that is simple. I keep my hand in my shirt. Uh, because I would uh, look pretty silly with my nose in there. Sheesh, I had to ask. No, actually, Kermit, you didn't have to ask. There are no rules. Green light, stop! Red light, go! Oh, boy. Gonzo. It isn't. Oh, boy. Now I want all of you to sit down on the couch. Now, when I said agree on the rules, I didn't mean no rules. It's not okay to be totally out of control. It isn't? I'm afraid not. Now I want all of you to sit still until I come back. Okay? Yes, Nanny. Oh. Boring! Gosh, sitting still is awful. Yeah. You know something? I think we're being punished. You're right, Scooter. This is like being in jail. You said it. Yeah! Uh -oh. Looks like trouble. Wow! We knew the rules, we knew the game. We only have ourselves to blame. She told us once, she told us twice, and now we're paying the price. We're jailbirds, feels like the prison cell. Yikes, we're wearing stripes. Sitting in the slammer with a sad, sad story to tell. We lost control, we went insane, and now we're dragging that ball and chain. Can't have cookies, no TV, and the warden's got the key. No, we're jailbirds, feels like the prison cell. Life's a drag when you can't be free. You can't go swimming or climb a tree. Every day looks the same. You're just a number, you got no name. We learned our lesson and now we know. Playing by the rules is the way to go. If we ever get out, we'll change our plan. Hey, let's be bad all over again. No! Jailbirds, feels like a prison cell. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I to be good, Mammy. All right, Gonzo. You can relax now. <sighs> if you kids want to learn about rules, this should help. It's my old government book from when I went to school, and it tells all about democracy. Ooh, thanks, Mammy. But what is democracy? That's when people make rules for themselves. Each person has a secret vote. They elect people to make laws for them, and a president to carry out those laws. Hey, maybe we could try that to help us make rules. Yeah! Uh -huh. Why did you look at the pictures in the book? And call me if you have any questions. Okay, Nanny. I wonder if there's a section in here on nursery rules. <coughs> uh, I didn't think so. I know. Let's vote for a president of the nursery. That's a great idea, Kermit. And once I'm president, I can make all the rules. Uh, well, that's not exactly how it works, Piggy. What? Yeah. We get to vote for whoever we want for president. We do? Uh-huh. But first, you gotta make the people want to vote for you. Like this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, vote for me, and I promise to let this country go to the dogs. I'll fire all the dog catchers. And I'll guarantee one big dog bone for every mutt. <laughs> Just vote for Rolf the dog for president of the nursery. Gee, Rolf, I hate to say this, but you're the only dog in the nursery. Oh. Everybody knows you get votes by being on television. Hello, my name is Piggy, and I'm running for president. You should vote for me because I'm smart and adorable, um, and a born leader, and because if you don't, Oh, you take it easy, Piggy. Yeah, that's no way to make people like you. Um, uh, uh, sorry. I don't know what came over me. Okay, okay, guys. Now it's time to vote for the person you think would make the best president of the nursery. So step into the voting booth and cast your secret ballot. Me first! Good vote! La, 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 la. Okay, that's everybody. I'll count the votes. One for Piggy, two for Piggy. Oh, goody! I just know I'm gonna win! One for Kermit, two for Kermit, three for Kermit? What? Hm, it's two votes for Piggy and six for Kermit. for you, Piggy. I wonder who the other person was. Ah, uh, congratulations, Kermie. I am going to be your first lady, aren't I? Oh, uh, uh, sure, Piggy. Gosh, now that I'm president, what do I do? According to these pictures, you got to go to Washington. You mean Kermit's got to do his laundry? Fuzzy? Sorry. He means Washington, D.C., the nation's capital. Let me see. Me too. Yeah, I want to see. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Is this where the president works? That's right. Maybe I could visit some other presidents and get some advice. Sure, follow me. What's this place? It's the Lincoln Memorial. Come on. Boy, look at the size of him! Yeah, I'll bet he was the biggest president we ever had. What did he do? Abraham Lincoln was president during the Civil War. He helped free the slaves and wrote the Gettysburg Address. Um, what is the Gettysburg Address? Why, 227 Gettysburg Road, of course. Are 
Are you Kermit the Frog? I, I think so. Who are you? Secret Service. I'm afraid you'll have to come with us. Huh? Oh? Wait, you don't understand. I don't have any secrets. I won fair and square. Where are you taking me? I didn't do anything. I I'm innocent. I'm... I'm... Welcome to the White House, Mr. President. What? I'm uh, pleased to be here. Mr. President, how does it feel to be the first frog in the White House? Uh, well, it feels uh, green. I mean, keen. It, it feels real keen. Mr. President, what do you plan to do about the high cost of living? Uh, good question. Uh, I guess I'll have to get my allowance ready. Mr. President? I'm sorry, no more questions. The President is very busy. I am? Where are we now? The Oval Office. Sheesh, no wonder they call it the Oval Office. Right. No sweat. Piggy, what are you doing? As First Lady, it's my job to make sure your office looks beautiful. Personally, I don't like ovals. <laughs> don't you just love hearts, Kermy? Oh. oh, yes, and I took the liberty of having the outside painted, too. Huh? is so much cuter than a White House, don't you? Oh, brother. Hurry, Mr. President. What's the matter, Vice President Weirdo? It's time for your cabinet meeting. It is? Yeah, everyone's waiting. What's this? Why, your cabinet meeting, of course. Good afternoon, Mr. President. First, we'll hear from the Secretary of Toys. We need more money to buy toys. Ah, good idea. Isn't it? Huh? You said it, President Kermit. Next, we'll hear from the Secretary of Clothes. We need more money to buy clothes. Um, well, that sounds okay. Overruled! Let's use the clothes money to buy more toys. Mm, okay. But what about money for ice cream? And popcorn. And don't forget movies. <laughs> hey, what about music? And computers. And how about sports? Oh, hold it. Hold it. We're arguing again. Kermit's right. What we need are some new rules. Hey, look. This is where they make the laws. I saw it on TV. It's called the house. I wonder if it's anything like a dog house. As Speaker, As Speaker of the Dog, dog House, house I, call I call this meeting, meeting to order. order. Who wants to make the first law for the nursery? I do! 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 I say we make a law that everyone has to buy me a present on my birthday. But you're not a lawmaker. You're the First Lady. I know! That's why I'm counting on you, Kermit, to make sure it becomes law. No fair! That's not how laws are made. Yeah, we have to vote on it. We do? Right. All in favor, say aye. Aye! Huh? Aye! What? Aye! Really? Aye! 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 The ayes have it. Everyone agrees to buy Piggy a present on her birthday. Aren't you, Piggy? Why are you so surprised? Yeah, you buy presents for all of us, so why wouldn't we want to do the same for you? Gee, uh, I guess democracy is pretty good stuff after all. Well, kids, did you work out all your problems? We sure did, Nanny. Your book really helped. We elected Kermit president of the nursery. And from now on, if we can't agree on something, we're going to vote on it. That's wonderful, kids. When I grow up, I'm going to run for Congress. Gee, it's a long way to Washington, Scooter. Maybe you better start running now. Huh? Personally, I'm going to run for President of Neptune. But, Gonzo, 
there's nobody on Neptune. <laughs> I know! I'll win by a landslide! <laughs> See what I mean? And that's how I first learned about being president, and I never forgot it. Gosh, you're smart, Uncle Kermit. Oh, well, anybody can be smart if you put your mind to it and know where to look for ideas. Where? Well, we, we, where should I look? Oh, didn't you know there's a place where you can find all the ideas in the world? Mm, there is? Mm -hmm. Really? Yep. Did you know that? Tell us, tell us, where is it? Where is oh, it? Okay, uh, the, the, the place where you can find all the ideas in the world is called? Yeah. The library. The library? Mm-hmm, sure. Just look inside a book and you can learn almost anything. Hey, let's give it a try. There must be a million books in here. Yeah, or 12 at least. Yes, may I help you? Uh, I'd like to look at that book about caterpillars. So? So you're supposed to help me find it, sis, like the real library lady. Come on. Oh, okay. I think it's in the bug section over there by the ant farm. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Ah! Ooh, pop up. Very funny, animal. La 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 la. Shh. Quiet over there. What? Sorry. Gabo. Whoa. La 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 la. Um, I can't seem to find my Alice in Wonderland book. Really? Well, uh, why don't you try the old-fashioned section way back in the corner? Oh, thanks. And you better hurry. Library closes real soon when Nanny gets here. I want to check this book out again. Land of the Gnomes and Goblins. It's my favorite. Ew, they look weird. Yeah, I know. That's what I like. Weird? Who's weird? Uh, I think I'm kind of weird. Shut, Shut up! Sorry. There you go. It's due back in a week. Oh, you hear that, fellas? Another whole week. Yay! Great! A whole week. Uh, what is a week, anyway? Be, Be quiet. quiet! Sorry. Gosh, this public library is huge. I feel as tiny as a mouse in here. Whoa! Nanny said imaginations run wild around books, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh boy, my favorite joke book. Want to hear one, Ralph? Nah, I'm trying to find Frosty the Snowman. Okay, here goes. When is it Jack, not a Jack? When it's a playing card. Get it? Jack, playing card? Waka waka. Whoa! <laughs> Guess this must be the vegetable section. <laughs> Brother. Oh, this is hopeless. Huh? Hmm, I wonder what's in here. Oh, I'll never find my book in time. Goblins probably took it. Huh? <gasps> Gonzo? Ah, uh -uh. Gonzo, head troll around here. All the goblins know me. Goblins? Yuck! What's she talking about? Oh, I think she's kind of cute. Shut up! Okay. So, uh, what's this about your book? Well, I got it from the library last week, but now... Ah, it could be in there. <gasps> what is that? Public labyrinth. Public what? Labyrinth. Kind of like a maze. Goblins take books there. They do? Well, how do I get in? With this. What is it? Labyrinth card. I can't believe he said that, can you? Sort of like a pass key, see? Library closes when the big hand hits the six. Better hurry, though. Don't have much time. Gosh, thanks. I think. Hey, how am I supposed to know which way to go? Doesn't matter. Time's wasting. Just go. Labyrinth. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody here? Oh, this is ridiculous.
Alice. I'll never find my book. Maybe you don't know where to look. Scooter? What are you doing? I'm a caterpillar. I can see that. And secondly, I'm helping you. Library closes in 27 minutes, you two. Okay, okay. We gotta hurry, Scooter. My book is due today, but this dumb path doesn't seem to go anywhere. Uh-huh. Well, things aren't always what they appear to be, Piggy. I mean, do I look like I could ever become a butterfly? No. Right. Use your labyrinth card and the wall will become a door. Really? Uh-huh. Like this? Yep. Good luck. Wow! Oh, great. Now which way do I go? Huh? Boy, this is... <coughs> weird. <coughs> Ow! <coughs> A simple arrow might have been helpful. Oh! Gee, things in this labyrinth are never what they seem. Now what? We give up. What? Huh? Howdy. Hi. What happened to you guys? When? Is this a riddle? He loves riddles. Yeah. Want to do a knock-knock? Uh-uh. Could you guys tell me which way to go? Who? Us? No way. We don't know anything. We could tell you a lot of jokes, though. Why did that? Knock it off! <laughs> now, what door leads to my book? We give up. Which one? I don't think she knows. It's not fair to ask riddles if you don't know the answers. It wasn't a riddle! It was just a question! Oh, a question. That's different. In that case, we don't know. We only know jokes and riddles. Right. Ooh, never mind. I'll figure it out for myself. Uh-uh-uh. Wouldn't go that way. Yeah, nobody goes that way. So long. See ya. Think we should have told her nobody goes that way either? Nah, she didn't ask. Ooh, yuck, go! Now where am I? Huh? Kermit, is that you? I am. Hi, Piggy. You're a mouse. Uh-huh. So are you. You want some cheese? So am I what? A mouse. Here, take a look. Ah! I'm a mouse! That's what I said. Well, what happened? I don't want to be a mouse. Well, um, I think you uh, sort of fell into my imagination. Sorry. Can you believe this? Yeah, are you sure you don't want some cheese? No, thanks. Where are we, anyway? Under the library. Neat, huh? The library? Really? Let's go look for my book. Okay. Hey, wait for me. Um, uh, uh there. And, uh, uh, there. Uh, and, uh... Did you find your <gasps> book, Scooter? Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> See? Wow. A caterpillar. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be neat to really be caterpillars? Uh-huh. Except for the birds. Birds? Uh-huh. They eat caterpillars. Ew, yucky! Ooh, What are the other that were that were Imaginations go kind of crazy around all these books. I'll say, you should have seen animals. Huge! Listen, we're going out into the library to look for my book. Wanna come? Uh-uh, I'd probably...
probably get stepped on. What? Okay. See ya. What are you, Scooter, a man or a mouse? Very funny, sis. <laughs> I always wanted to say that. <laughs> Well, the library's open to everybody. I guess this is them. Come on, there's no time. Whoa! Your turn. Watch it, mister. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, looks like your book really is lost. And you're running out of time, aren't you, Piggy? Huh? huh? If you ask me, you could use some professional help. We're looking for Piggy's book. I know. As mice! Isn't that clever? Well, not when you consider that goblins eat mice. They do? Um, you guys go on ahead. I think I hear Nanny calling. Bye! Now what? Now we're gonna find that missing book of yours. Come on! Huh? Oh, not this place again! Look, you wanna find that book or not? Okay, okay! Wait for me! Waka waka! <laughs> oh, brother. The animal! Huh? It's coming from over there! Look! An orangutan! Oh, 
一点一点，哇哇哇哇哇哇！哼，哦，你们国的，哇哇哇哇哇哇哇哇 ！Okay, Mr. Know It All. Now, which way to my lost book? Well, I'm glad you. Ten to the minutes till closing time. Huh? What? All right, already. Have you hugged your book today, Piggy? <laughs> For a librarian, she sure gets around. Come on, it's gotta be here somewhere. You found it, huh? I did. Hey, what did I tell you, Toots? Could a mouse have done this? How do we get in? Aha! Now that's the real secret. Getting here was tricky, but getting in. A different matter entirely. Right this way. Thank you. Ooh. Well, where's my book? Relax, it's right here. Oh, yippee, skippy! You mean Alice in Wonderland is in there? Ta-da! Was that order for here or to go? Goof! Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to tell Nanny I lost my book. Come on, relax. How bad could it be? Hmm, I better practice this. <coughs> Nanny! <coughs> no, Nanny! No. <coughs> Nanny, um, what would happen? I mean, what would the library do if someone actually lost their book? Well, first we chop off their little heads. What? Really? And then we lump them into boiling water until the skin comes off and they get all soft and mushy. <laughs> Boy, these library people are serious. Come on, let's get out of here. Ooh, I didn't even want to have it. And in 20 minutes, you have a delicious Bella Ruff Mononoff turnip puree. Bon appetit. <laughs> Gracious, fellas, is everything all right? I think so. Piggy and Animal playing, that's all. Phew. Oh, I see. Well, you tell Piggy I want to see her, okay? It's important. Okay, okay Nanny. Nanny. Time to turn in all the books so Nanny can return them when the bookmobile gets here. <coughs> hey, what's going on? Piggy lost her Alice book and the library's gonna chop off her head! Huh? huh? What? Gosh, how overdue is it? What are we gonna do? Maybe we could give them one of our old books. Or make them a new one. Huh? A new Alice in Wonderland? Oh, yeah! Great idea, Skeeter! <laughs> yeah, we can all draw our favorite parts. I'll get the paper. I'll get the crayons. I'll draw Alice. I'll do the Dormouse. I'll draw the White Rabbit. Me draw Kitty Cat. Caterpillar. The Mad Hatter. Okay, but Nanny wants to see you, Piggy. Not now! Hurry! Ready? Um, and here's Alice in Wonderland.
I'm Nanny. What? Why, Piggy, this can't be Alice. Huh? Yes, hey, it's 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 Kids, take it easy. What I meant was, I have the Alice book from the library, Piggy. You left it in my room, remember? Um, I did? Well, then you will be needing this dumb old thing. Oh, no. Why, I wouldn't part with this Alice book for the world, kids. Huh? You all made it because you love Piggy. Yeah, and because we didn't want the library to chop off her head. What? Kids, libraries don't hurt people. Oh. But it is a good idea to return the books you borrow so other people can read them. Mm -hmm. Hey, the bookmobile's here. Let's hurry before all the good books are gone. Come on, Nanny. Oh, I don't need to hurry, Piggy. It's going to take me a long time to get through my new Alice book. Huh? Boy, you must be a slow reader, Nanny. Our book doesn't even have words. <laughs> oh, Gonzo. Hey, I'm going to lose my book next week. Can you guys draw fly swatters and rubber bands? Fuzzy! What? Gee, Uncle Kermit, I never realized you could learn so much by reading books. Books. Oh, sure, but, you know, reading isn't the only way to learn. Sometimes you have to try a different approach and really think about a problem to solve it. Uncle Kermit, hmm? could we try a different approach to solving my homework? I'm ready when you are. We have ten train cars here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ten, take away four. Right. One, two, three, four. four. Uh-huh. Okay, how uh, many are left? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Plus, then we add two more two. back. So that's one, one two, two, and that leaves one. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 You got it. Hey, you know what's more fun than counting trains? No, what, Uncle Kermit? Playing with trains. Ho ho! Me 